took a little bacon and it took a little beans and they caught the bloody British in a town in New Orleans. What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the Beard of Beer Review channel. We're back for another review. Just got done listening to Ribs and Whiskey from Weisberg Panic playing their New Year's Eve show and thought, hey, let's crack open a whiskey bourbon barrel aged stout. Been sitting on this one for a while. Uh, this came from my dude Hip Hopped, H I P underscore Hopped on Instagram. By the way, The Beardiful is back on Instagram at The Beardiful, one word. If you want to follow me over there, I usually post some pics. Some of the beers I don't review get posted over there too. Just started my Instagram account back up, uh, so if you want to check it out, you can. This is El Segundo Brewing Company Barrel Aged Standard Crude 2016 Imperial Stout Aged in Bourbon Barrels. 180 cases produced. 11.5% ABV. I don't know... I don't know the exact date of this bottle. Can't remember. Anyway, um, pretty excited to get into this thing. There's this. Pretty standard classic label in the front of this thing. I don't think I've ever had anything from El Segundo either. I've seen them, uh, I've seen some of their other stuff, but I've never had it. Um, so I don't know anything about this beer other than it's barrel aged stout. I've never had the non barrel aged if it exists. Um, but into the glass we go. Gonna pour into the prairie glass tonight just because I'm running out of glassware. Pouring out really dark cola, like this rich chocolate amber color, if you will. So I can get ahead on that. Uh, not much of one. Head dissipating super quick. It was about a pinky of off-white mocha head. And it is gone. Leaving some serious oily alcohol legs on this glass. Sitting pitch black. Nothing coming through. No ruby edges. Nothing like that at all. It's so dark I can see my reflection bouncing off of it. It's uh, pretty cool. Ooh, there it is. A little cold, actually. It's absolutely freezing outside, though. <clears throat> I just went out to take the garbage out. It's like 22, 21, 22 degrees, and it is super cold for Alabama. Hopefully this will warm me up. All right, let's get a nose on it. Got a big dose of sweet, like bourbony vanilla. The bourbon is there. The barrel character is there. Some rich roasted malts. A sweetness, like a sweet chocolate note coming off the top too. It reminds me a lot of that Prairie Noir that I drank a while back. I remember I uh, did a blind battle against that in um, Black Note. This smells a lot like Prairie Noir. The vanilla is so subtle, but the bourbon is so present. Very, very nice nose on this thing. Oh, man, that smells good. Really good. I don't know why I haven't drank this bottle yet either. I usually, there are some bottles I have. I have a 10-year-old bottle to dog, dogfish head something. But I normally don't age beers longer than a year, and this one is coming up on two years, depending on when it was bottled in 2016. But who knows, man. Things get shuffled in the beer fridge, and they get moved to the back. I forget all about them. So anyway, let's get a taste. Lord have mercy. Medium plus, oily. No, let's go with medium, but oily. Coating the inside of your cheeks, around your teeth, your tongue. Barrel character is perfect. Sweet vanilla bourbon notes. Bit of alcohol bourbon burn in the back of your throat. Not overly boozy. It's straight up barrel that you're getting. It's not a whole lot of alcohol booze from the beer itself. It's 
you've got the front of this beer is like that sweet chocolate mid palate. It becomes a rich, a richer chocolate, not as sweet. And then it, the back of this beer, the back of this beer, the back of your mouth is this dark, bitter, char roasted note coming out of this beer. It's a beautiful progression across your palate for real. Oh man. The bourbon and the vanilla are just so intertwined with each other. It's not like an added vanilla. It is that one of the notes I get in good bourbons all the time is that sweet vanilla oak note, right? And that is that's per, like so big in this beer. But the bourbon is just huge. But not offensive. I don't know how. I know that sounds terrible. It's like the bourbon is huge. Like that's all I taste. But it's not. It's just so well balanced. The bourbon is so present and not overbearing. I am getting a little more alcohol burn he, right here. Um, to be expected. Big beer. Not offensive by any means. This beer's good. Um, if this bottle's floating around, I don't know if they did a 2017. I don't know how this beer works, but I will vouch for the 2016 El Segundo Standard Crude Barrel Aged. Fantastic. There's the label once again. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've had this one. Let me be sitting on one. I know some of my friends have had this. Um, Keith, what did you think of it? I think you said you liked it, but I don't remember. It's been a while. Um, but until next time, y'all, cheers.